Hello Stoughton, my name is Stephen Cavey, I'm a selectman for the town of Stoughton. Today is January 8th, 2019, and I wanted to just walk you guys through the uh, uh, what we discussed in our meeting today. Before I do, I want to start by saying that down below, in the, uh, in, the um, in the section down below, um, what is it, you know, we have some some links to where the agendas are, where the where the uh, where you can find the 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 smack video. I included another link uh, to a uh, a website where you can leave me anonymous comments, and uh, I, rec I I I ask please spend the time, go in there, tell tell me what I can be doing better either on these videos or as a selectman, and or if you just want to blow off some steam and and really lay into me. <laughs> <laughs> there's the place to do it. I can't ever figure out who you are. Just tell me what you really think because, uh, you know, we, we can't uh, hear these things. Uh, we can't do a good job. So just please go down below, click on it. Leave me if, if you've got any gripe, any issue, you know, let me know what it is because, uh, you know, I'll work to address it. If, uh, if there's anything you want me to, uh, to address specifically on one of these videos, I'll do that too. So, uh, if you don't mind doing that, I'd really appreciate it. Uh, also, subscribe would be awesome because uh, it's, it's good to see who's actually watching these things. So now let's get to the meeting. It was actually it was a very long meeting, but uh, uh, not as bad as they have been in the past. But but uh, uh, we only covered a couple of very broad topics, so it should only take a couple minutes to get through. Um, so the first thing is uh, let's see. Uh, so there was one item. If you're looking at the agenda, it's, it's agenda item six: a request to accept Olive Lane, sorry Oliver Lane, as a public way. Uh, that was pulled, so we didn't cover that. Um, that's done. We had um, uh, town manager comments. That she, Robin Monksian had a, had a number of things to to say. There's one thing in particular I wanted to, to pull out to express to you guys, and that is that uh, uh, next week. Uh, on January 16th at 7 p.m. in the Great Hall, there's going to be a, uh, a public hearing on the sewer expansion. Uh, I think we've we've uh, this caught on a little bit online. I've seen some people talking about it that we're, we're we are interested in seeing the sewer expanded down Park Street uh, as a way to uh, to, re to re revitalize some of the economic uh, uh, you know uses of that area. Uh, well, with Campanelli Park, we also have we have restaurants along along the the uh, Park Street leading into Brockton uh, that have septic tanks. You know they have a lot of a lot of use, and uh, it's just you know it, getting access to sewer for those businesses uh, will will be important for us, and it's something that we should we I think we should be addressing. Uh, but ultimately, we you know we need the public input on this. Uh, it's not this is if you guys don't want it, we we can't do it. So. Uh, this is an idea that, that uh, has been floated in the past, and uh, and we're looking at some some ways to, to pay for it. Ultimately, the revenue that can come in from it uh, is significant. Uh, you know, within a couple of years, uh, I forget how long it was. I've, I, you know, we didn't discuss this, but we've had previous uh, discussions about it. But say in like ten years or something, we could be looking at a million dollars in additional revenue for the town uh, that can be attributed to the sewer system. And, uh, and and it ultimately pays for itself in a very short amount of time. So, uh, we will have a that's going to be also broadcast on Smack. You can watch it there. I think it's a great idea. I think it's something we should we should be pursuing, and uh, uh, you should get an opportunity. You're going to have an opportunity on the 16th to uh, to give your opinion on this. So I recommend you, you show up and and uh, and weigh in. Uh, we also did some appointments. We have uh, you know there's a couple of uh, board vacancies that the board of selectmen make appointments for. So we, we made a couple of appointments. Um, I won't go through the, you know, if, if you want to see who was appointed to, to what, I, I definitely recommend it. There's, we had some really amazing people uh, who contributed to this town or are looking to contribute to this town uh, uh, come and, and, you know, look for, seek out a, a board appointment. And I, I think that's amazing. Um, this, this was really a, a great night to see some really uh, active uh, participation. But we have a lot of vacancies that still remain, and we need volunteers. Uh, you know, we can do so much with, with with the people we have, and our board works really hard. We ought to try our best, but ultimately, you know, so much of this, so much of what happens in our town happens uh, with these these uh, these various boards. Uh, just to give you an idea of what we're talking about, board of registrars, um, 
cable TV advisory committee as it has uh, two open two, two openings. Uh, Commission on Disabilities uh, has one opening. Council on Aging has an opening. Energy and Sustainability Committee has an opening. Actually, yeah, they have one whole opening. Uh, and we have a number, I think we have a number of others, but these, these were some, some real key ones we wanted to see filled. And, uh, and you know, we, we can't do this without your help. So if, if any of those sound from, you know, interesting to you, Board of Registrars, uh, Cable TV Advisory Committee, Commission on Disabilities, Council on Aging, or Energy and Sustainability Committee, uh, reach out at, to Town Hall, get in touch with me, and and we you know we'll see if we can get you get you in there and, and appoint it. Uh, we desperately need your help to to fulfill the missions of our town. So the next thing we discussed, and we'll kind of cut it there. And this, this is the last item: is a review of the uh, uh, fiscal year twenty twenty proposed uh, operating budget. So the, the our, our uh, current operating budgets do uh, to uh, to FinCom in a couple of weeks, uh, and there's still a deficit in there. Our town manager is working to resolve that. Uh, she'll be meeting also with uh, uh, with the school. I think it's the school superintendent. She's, I think she's at the schools, but I believe she'll, she'll probably be meeting with the school superintendent to uh, to work out, you know. The gap there's there's really there's not a whole lot of give they, they may not be in the school side either but there's there's almost no there's no give on the on the town side so where this money is coming from uh you know to, to bridge that gap so that we can a submit a uh, balanced budget uh we're gonna have to we're gonna have to find that so um uh so that that's most of what we discussed we also spoke with uh the um department heads for the fire department chief laracy uh, Police Department, Chief McNamara, and DPW, which is Tom Fitzgerald, and um, we got some information on their on their operating budgets, and, and, and for the most part, I think they're level service with with some ex exceptions, um, and they were just wor working through those. Their budgets are the biggest in town, so so they were they, they came in and uh, laid out what they're what they're working with. Uh, there are a couple of takeaways, um, you know. I, they're they're all po to me very positive. I mean, even even though we're, we are dealing with a deficit here, the, the fact is that, that the, these department heads have worked very hard to to keep their finances in line, and also to really add a lot of value. The fire chief, for example, uh, was able to reduce overtime in the current year by one hundred fifty thousand uh, dollars, and he was able to do that by uh, finally being fully staffed, uh, and and they're not paying overtime. They're they're, they're the, the money is instead being used to cover regular salaries, but the the uh, overtime uh, line item uh, is is being reduced significantly. That's that's amazing. I think the last year I think last year it was one hundred twenty five thousand that he was able to reduce it. So he's constantly working towards reducing overtime, and uh, and th that's a very very costly way for us to finance a, a department. So so it's it, to be able to reduce that is, is it has going to have a huge impact on on uh, the department going forward. Uh, the police, uh, the service is mostly level, uh, but one thing she, uh, the, the Chief McNamara raised was that I think, I, I might have the number ex not exactly right, but I think it's about 90000 I think it's over $90,000 in additional revenue in the last year uh, with um, due to uh, increase in details, uh, construction de details. So um, uh, you know, that's, that's great, bringing in an extra $90,000 is uh, is is great for the department, uh, great for the great for the town. It goes right into the general fund and gets used throughout the, the town. Uh, DPW, uh, the DPW is really you know unique um, in our town. And not, I think most towns are like this, but but the uh, of the departments in our town, the the DPW uh, has has a number of of uh, budgets underneath of it. There's sewer. There's you know, snow removal, uh, removal, uh, of water, uh, trash removal, um, highways, uh, uh, parks. I think I think there's there's just so much they cover, and um, and a lot of, of the work of the DPW, even though they're they might be uh, uh, the same workers working in different departments, uh, different you know under different budgets. Uh, the DP the the head of DPW, Tom Fitzgerald, has done a lot of work trying to get make sure people are aligned inside the right budgets which is a ton of work um uh, the budget seems 
very, very tight for them, and they, they've done, done an amazing job trying to find efficiencies in what they're doing. So I just wanted to give a shout-out to them. Uh, uh, so I think that covered everything. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that's good. We had a consent item, nothing, nothing special. Um, also, a, a couple of uh, one-day liquor licenses for uh, some events coming up with the St. James Parish. Uh, one on February 8th and another on April 26th. Uh, it doesn't say here what they are. I know one was a, was a um, trivia night, and I forget what the other one was. But um, uh, anyway, thanks again. Thanks for uh, allowing me to serve the town. Please subscribe. That would be great. I'd really like to see who's, who's uh, not necessarily who, but, but you know, see if there's some, some traction here. That would be awesome. And the other big thing is leave me some anonymous comments. I promise whatever's in there, I probably have heard worse. So thank you very much. Have a great night. Bye.